The folks at Amtrak used to say there's something about a train that's magic. We end tonight with a man who's making magic in his own backyard. Here's Steve Hartman with tonight's Assignment America. The fantasy plays out every night, just off the basement floor in homes all over America. With a setup like this, a kid, or more likely, grown man, can pretend to be master of his own railroading universe. Here there are no bosses in stiff shirts, present company excluded. Here there are no responsibilities, other than making sure the train's on time. For most guys, just imagining this world is sufficient escape. But for the Iowa man you're about to meet, there would be no basement big enough. Well, I was looking for a woods. That was the uh, first consideration. About 25 years ago, Jim Halverson started looking for a place to put his train set. It had to be at least 10 acres. A big place for a big set. A forklift operator by trade, Jim spent five years of nights and weekends just laying the track. Oof-da. People at work, they thought I was nuts. And I'm sure a lot of them still do. <laughs> He then made an engine out of a 73 Ford Maverick, found lights and signals at salvage yards, and basically, over the next 20 years, created a toy train set you can climb right onto. <laughs> it runs from his garage, along the edge of his property, past the depot he built. Got a little bit carried away with it. A little bit? <laughs> Curves back along the other edge of his property, over a bridge, and back to his garage. A giant half-mile loop which brings us back to the obvious question of why. Jim is unmarried and has no children, outside of his beagle, Lily, who is surprisingly still alive. Almost no one has even seen this train set. I didn't build it for anybody else. I just built it for myself. Jim says a lot of times he just likes to sit in the depot. It's kind of my little retreat away from the rest of the world, you know, I can go back there and sit and relax and not think of anything else. Although almost no one goes to this extreme, America's basements and backyards are full of old cars and woodworking projects that men especially use to forget, to escape their day, their honeydew lists, or most often, just their age. Jim is 61, but he says every time he goes into his backyard, he's immediately that five-year-old boy watching the train go by his childhood farm. Wow, and a lot of people are really wild about not only toy trains, but trains in I general. Know. I was, too. That was my favorite thing growing up. I'd go down and watch the trains go by with my dad. Oh, that's yeah. so cute. So I like the story. Obviously. Yeah, I like the story, too, and I like that they, you made yourself so small in that one shot. Yeah, squeezing anyway. my ego that small was the hard part. It was it now. <laughs> All right, tell us about next week. Okay, next week. Going barefoot on the beach is one thing, but next week we'll meet a man who refuses to wear shoes anywhere. And there are others like him. A lot of people following suit this weekend, right? <laughs> yes, yes, have, yes. Have a nice Memorial Day weekend. And that is the CBS Evening News. I'm Katie Couric in New York. Thank you for watching this week. Have a great holiday weekend to you as well. Good night.